think this year has been an incredibly challenging one for small businesses all across the country. The U.S. Census data projects that there are about 32 million small businesses in America, but only about 6 million of them are employer firms. The rest are solopreneurs, meaning they may have a side gig or a small business in addition to their full-time job. Using that figure, TrackTheRecovery.org projects that as of December 9th, 29% of those businesses are currently closed. More than 8 million to end the year, and over 1 million of them are businesses that actually have employees. That staggering figure is actually up from its March 30th low of 50%. It remains to be seen how many reopen and how many of those closures are actually permanent. Now, revenues are also down 32% from the beginning of the year, but there's a bright spot here. New business starts via employment identification numbers. Those are up 40% year on year. There's still that American entrepreneurism that is still alive and well, and, and perhaps looking, you know, to start something after the, the you know, we're, we're dealing with this pandemic, you know, when we get the vaccines and everything that they're still looking down the road saying, yeah, I'm going to either get back into being an entrepreneur uh, or maybe that's something I'm looking to try since I've, you know, changed my work environment a lot. Now, of course, the road to recovery is very long. We've got a long road ahead of us uh, in the coming year. But that idea that people are willing to take on a new venture, take a risk in this environment, to me at least, in covering this all year long, is very encouraging. Becky, back over to you. Hey, Kate, we've been talking an awful lot about the new stimulus money, the new aid that's going out. Uh, when it comes to the PPP, does that give small business owners hope about um, their, their odds of survival? So our own CNBC and SurveyMonkey data did show that there was widespread support for a new aid bill. Uh, PPP did come up, and there is a lot of support. Just over 40 percent of respondents said that they wanted it. But closer to 50 percent said they ranked those direct payments to individuals above additional PPP. I think small business owners really recognize that they need both. They need the ability to borrow and have these uh, grants and loans, but they also need consumers to have money in pocket you know, to go out and spend and support their Main Street businesses. So they recognize you can't do it alone and you need those two things together. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.